Hello YouTubers, this is Just again. Uh, I had a question what uh, salt I'm using and other trace elements and things I'm using in my aquarium. And this is it. Uh, I'm using Ultra Power Trace from Fauna Marine. Ultra Organic, uh, Tropic Marine, Magnesium, Kent's Sea Salt, and I'm dosing this manual. It's a three, three part solution Tropic Marine, Bio Calcium. And this is my messy fish room, some old aquarium that I'm gonna rebuild to a sump, an old skimmer, a lot of uh, pumps and heaters and things, my working bench, it's my dremel and things. Some more hoses, buckets and things, uh, some good to have items, and here's my koi fish that is waiting for the pond to defreeze so I can put them outside. And go and have a look at the aquarium outside. There's a picture of it now. Like you see on the light, I haven't got my radiance yet. So I'm using at the moment uh, 839 watts T5 and one uh, two 54 watts T5. So it's dark in this corner and it's dark here. Some new addition to the aquarium is This little frag here. Let's see if I can get a better picture of it. Let's see, it's a hard to get a focus on it. Like you can see, everything is okay. In the near. Rico de Florida. Some mushrooms. A lot of senior. This one is nice, Montipora. Uh, I was just cleaning the glass inside. I do it manual with one of these. Let's see. Please. Uh, this is my cleaning magnet. Like you see, it takes a long time. The aquarium is 80 centimeters deep, so I get it, have it a bit hard to clean it at the bottom. I removed some of the senior that was growing on the glass, like you can see here. There. Uh, 
And this one I got to watch out when I'm cleaning. The Xenia has taken over this tank. I will start another tank with no Xenia in it and see how it goes. Because I think it's impossible to remove the Xenia from this tank. I think I have to remove all the rocks and uh, get new rock and restart from all over. But it's nice. It's got, it gives it a live look. You see it swaying in the waves. So for the light, I'm getting two radions, Ecotec LEDs and uh, MP40 Vortex pump. So I can maybe remove some of these big ones. Thank you too much room. And they're not nice. They look a bit uh, odd for this tank. And the fishes, they are doing great. Uh, maybe these are a bit thin at the moment. And they are starting to get aggressive to each other. Because probably the lack of food but I will sort that out I just buy some more for them some more of this sushi nori it's cheap I think it's uh, almost the same uh, as they sell in the fish store but you get this for 3 euros and you buy that you buy in the fish store you get for 10 euros and you only get a part of what you get in this bag uh, but that's not enough for the fishes so I'm using some of the these primary flakes Cyclopes, some cichlid, cichlid food. Uh, they eat it well, but the only problem is that it floats. So it, the most of it goes to the surface, uh, skimmer or what you call it, the standpipe uh, for carnivores. Here's some shit too. I got this from buying Rico Diaz at my local fish store. Uh, it's a powder. That you mix with the water. You can make it to a paste or just mix it up and let it float around. It's for the corals but the fishes go after it too so uh, I'm going on a vacation now to Gran Canaria so I just put in my float switch here that I build myself. It's just a float switch, two of them. If uh, this one, one may puncture sure in any way. Uh, this wing, one will cut the power when the flow goes up there. there. Uh, in here I got a relay. It's driven by uh, uh, 12 volts. Uh, something from my cell phone. And then we got a power cord here. It goes to the box and to the 
relay and from that you grab this one that goes here and here you got this 12 volt shit <laughs> and you got a cord going to this one In the US you probably have RO water, I'm using ordinary tap water. I never used RO but I maybe should start using it because I see in my smaller aquariums I got some, some problems and I think the solution is to go to RO. And here's the refill, goes down in the standpipe down to the sun. I'm a bit low of batteries so I'm just gonna make it a short one here see if I can give you some goodies uh, this is nice this uh, yellow polyps or is it green polyps they are called uh, the senior won't overgrow it because if you see all around it senior won't touch it and these ones these you know what it is those uh, use gloves and use eyewear and don't use hot water on them <laughs> uh, let's see I had a holocim here just 